Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle. So you got an amazing Rhino model and you want to bring it into Power BI for data visualization while viewing your models in 3D. You can mess around with a bunch of exports and spreadsheets and try to make it work and fail, or you could just use Speckle. Speckle makes it super easy to connect your Rhino models into Power BI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we begin, make sure you have a Speckle account. Go to app.speckle.systems and sign up for an account if you haven't already. Next, you need Rhino and Power BI connectors installed. Link for the installers is in the description down below. So once you have everything set up, let's go ahead and start by publishing our model from Rhino. Once Rhino connector is installed, you can access it by multiple ways. One way is by simply typing in speckle in the command line and here it is or if you want to see the button that says speckle simply right click go to show toolbar and go ahead and select the box that says speckle and here it is let's go ahead and open rhino connector so we're going to publish a model so i'll go ahead and select publish your projects will be listed here if this is your first time using speckle go ahead and create a new project I'll name my project Clubhouse. Select Create. A new project has been created and let's go ahead and add a new model within this project. This is our architectural model, so I'll name it Architectural and select Create. Publishing from Rhino is as simple as making a selection and pressing Publish. And that's it. Your project is now inside Speckle. Next, we need to load this model into Power BI. And to do that, we need the model URL. You can either get it from the address bar or go to share and copy link. Let's open Power BI. Go to get data and search for Speckle. Select connect to Speckle and select connect. Uh, we'll accept the warning and let's paste the model URL we copied from the web app and select OK. So if this is your first time using the Power BI connector, you'll need to log in. And the easiest way to do that is by signing in with your Speckle account. Go ahead and click sign in and authorize the Power BI connector within this dialog. And now it is authorized. So once you log in, Power BI will store your credentials. So every time you load a model from Speckle, you don't have to log in. Let's go ahead and select Connect. And here it is. Your Rhino model is now inside Power BI, but in a tabular format. And next step is actually converting this from tabular format into 3D. To do that, we need to import a 3D visual. Let's go ahead and import it. Go to Visualizations pane, select Get More Visuals, import the visual from a file. We'll accept the warning. So the path we need to go is Documents, Power BI Desktop, and Custom Visuals. Go ahead and select 3dvisual.pbivis file and select Open. Now it's been added to our report. Let's go ahead and add it to our dashboard now. So 3D Visual is asking for three inputs, version object ID, object IDs, and tooltip data. And lucky for you, these are auto-generated by our data connector. So it's as simple as dragging and dropping them into their corresponding fields. And tooltip data is just like any other Power BI visual. You can use any column as tooltip. I'll go ahead and use the object IDs as the tooltip. And here it is. You now have a fully interactive 3D model of your Rhino design inside Power BI. You can zoom, pan, rotate, do all of that. If you want to take it a step further, you can add other visuals into your report. Speckle's 3D visual will automatically isolate and highlight selected elements. And the best part, it works the other way around as well. And that's it. You just unlocked a whole new way to visualize your Rhino models inside Power BI. Let us know if you faced any issues while following this tutorial at speckle.community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.